Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So here I go again, getting new fish. I went to my local fish store today and came home with a dozen new fish and a few other things. So this was the fifth consecutive week that I got new fish. And I was actually pretty good for a while. I did go a stretch of about five months without getting new fish. That was until I got a bunch of pygmy corridors and a few other things at my local fish store. That was a couple weeks before this recent five week stretch, but yeah. So I'm gonna show you what I got, my latest fish haul. But I set out to get new fish today because I wanted to get some more sword tails because my female pineapple sword tail and died yesterday and a couple days leading up to that she was kind of lethargic and I lost her yesterday so I wanted to get some more sword tails and then you know going to get sword tails of course going up up and down the aisles of all the tanks at my local fish store I decided to get a few other things so I'll show you what I got today this actually this is one of the fish I got last week. That female sailfin molly is not looking too good, unfortunately. But So, in this bag, I have four sword tails, one male and three females. So basically I wanted to get another male. I, got, you know, I said I lost the, the female pineapple sword tail yesterday. A couple weeks before that, I had lost the male. So, I have... In this tank I have, this is my sailfin molly and sword tail, my 29 gallon sailfin molly and sword tail community tank by the way, it's my latest tank. So I have that one male green sword tail in there, but I wanted to have two adult males with the sword tails kind of similar to how I have two male sailfin mollies, but yeah. So, I got that one male and three females. These came out of the assorted swordtail tank at my local fish store. So I think they're kind of crosses between, like that one is a red wagtail. It's kind of diluted. And these are, you know, this male and that female are red, but they, they're not like the red velvet swordtails, but they look like they might be a cross between maybe pineapple and red velvets and then a green female and you can see in this bag I have a couple mystery snails that I picked up today so add those two to the three I already have in this tank and then this bag while I was there I decided to get a couple panda corridors so I do have eight others that are in another tank that will be moving in here, but while I'm waiting to do that, I wanted to get some corridors to get some corridor action in this tank. And here, in this bag, is that is Cryptocorn Balance. Balance. So, uh, when I, you know, seeing that at my local fish store, I just saw, recently watched a new video from Rachel O'Leary, and she, um, you know, a quick video of, about this plant, so when I saw it at my, my local fish store, I'm like, yeah, I want to get that, so decided to get it, and have a few other fish going, they're acclimating in another tank, so I'll show you those. Okay, so over here in this tank, I've got a couple female platies, one of them right in this bag. So this is a female gold comet platy. Um, I decided I wanted to get one of these, and my local fish store had them, so I picked one up while I was there. I recently watched a video from um, the science gal, and she got some some of these gold 
twin bar platies and it made me think that I wanted some. I remember years ago um, before I you know, I got back into the fish fish keeping hobby a little over two years ago but before that I kept fish um, years ago and I remember having some of these when I was younger I had actually got some from a Walmart in Math when I was in Massachusetts and you know, they don't sell fish at Walmart here but I remember that's where I got it and it was a had babies and they grew up healthy until I got a, a largemouth bass and put it in the tank I used to go fishing I caught a small bass it was about four inches and I'm like oh you know I'll put that in my fish tank and then you know within days all the fish were gone it ate them all but yeah but it just you know brought just looking back because I wanted to you know when I had them I wanted to get some again yeah anyway. and then here is another female platy so this is almost like a maybe a could be a variety platy mix but it has it's kind of like a yellow based body red towards the tail and it's kind of like a like bluish coloring in the middle of its body there. It's just, you know, came from there. A sorted platy tank, so some kind of mix. And then here's a couple red endlers. Maybe red scarlet endlers. Don't recall what they called them, but they're cool looking and I had to get some while I had the chance. Alright, so I'm just temperature acclimating these fish now and then I'm going to can proceed with the acclimation process and I will return and show you them swimming around in their tanks so stand by all right so there's a the panic the panigars all up against the glass right here show that real quick yeah, so it's about an hour later, the fish have been acclimated and released. So here's one of the red endlers. So already it's right at home. It's been displaying, so no, no problems acclimating with that. The other one was doing it too, wherever that is. The platy, this platy is, well, both of them back here. They might be a little timid right now. That's one back there and the twin bar back there. Yeah, so in this tank, this is sort of, I don't really know what to call this tank. It was a quarantine tank, but I just keep adding fish to it. Just as, you know, the collector in me, I've been seeing fish and wanting them to, with ideas of moving them to other tanks. But now I'm thinking, I love this mix of fish as it is in here. So maybe I might, I'm a, entertaining ideas of setting up new tanks MTS taking over but this mix of fish I mean this is just an awesome community tank mix of fish so I might even just set up a 20 gallon and move most of them in here um, the panda quarries in here there's eight of them as I mentioned so a lot of them over in this area some back over here but those will be moving to the 29 so I'm just looking at the two new ones I got today the two new ones I got are pretty much like the pygmy quarry sized these are all a bunch of pygmy quarries in here those panda, new panda quarries might be a little bigger than those but 
I think these ones that I have in here, I got, they were pretty small and they've grown some, so yeah, they're going to be moving over to that tank. Pygmy quarries, I'm going to move some of those to my five and a half gallon as well. And here's, these are my fanciest, fancy guppies, the, the red dragon Dumbo Schmumbo guppies. So, as I mentioned when I got those, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking of setting up another tank so that I can do a little project of crossbreeding my fanciest with my least fancy. These are the common wild guppies, so I think I'm going to take one of these pregnant females in here put her in a breeder box and raise some babies in it so I can get a, a virgin female to mix with one of those. And I don't know, I have several ideas of things I might do, but yeah, that's one of them. All right, let's go look at the, the 29 gallon with the new fish in there. All right, so here we are back at the 29 gallon Sailfin Molly and Swordtail Community Tank. So, right here is a new male Swordtail, that red one. And the green one is scoping them out. Maybe he's gonna figure out who the dominant male is going to be. And, let's see. There's a new female over here on the left, and another well, two of the new females. Those those two female swordtails there. And there's another the green new green female swordtail. She's bigger than the existing female green sword tail that's in here, wherever it is. There's one of the molly fry that just swam by back there. So, as far as I I've seen, there's two molly fry left. That guppy fry that I had when I released it, I haven't seen it since, so I think that got chomped up. Where are the, the two little pygmy corridors? Not seeing them. Maybe they're in front of me, maybe. And I'm just not seeing them. They could be hiding up in here. The dragon stone. Yeah, so. Yeah, and here's the the cryptocorn balance, balance. So from what I know this grow can grow over over two feet. So this being a 29 gallon tank, it's 18 inches high. Once this grows, once I'm finished completing this tank, I'm, I'm gonna be adding the hang on the back filter. I have an Aquaqueer 50 that I'm gonna put sort of in the middle. So I think it'll be cool seeing it, fl you know, um, hang over in the flow when it grows. And I had that, I and mean, that's gonna go in another tank, that sponge filter, but that was back there, but I moved it to plant the the new crypts. And right here is the other Aponagetan Elvasius bulb. I have not seen any growth from that yet. So it's been 11 days since I put that in here. But I don't know if it was affected. I did move it a few times when I set up the, you know, these rocks. 
I had it over here and I had to move it over and then maybe I didn't put it in as much. I actually had to move it again to make room for this stuff. But the other Aponagetan bulb right here started growing after after a week. So, and it was, you know, I put that in a week after. So it's that's what 11 days, 18 days, this is the growth that I've had. And it was something I was actually pretty excited about, but I... I screwed screwed it up see this it shot up this right here and it's that was attached to this and it started I shot this up and it was a flower was just blooming and then you know I was excited to show that and I had this tool you know because I was using it just to put in the cryptocorn I had it resting you know, with this open resting right here, and I knocked it in, and it just decapitated it. Like went through it like a guillotine. So that was unfortunate. But then this other thing right here that's growing up, I think it might be the same thing like that. Like you kind of see this little bud right there. So maybe that's going to shoot up and do the same thing. But yeah. All right, and the snails, they're kind of in nap mode, I guess. You remember when I, you know, one of my previous videos, I, sh I had a Malaysian trumpet snail that came in one of the bags when I got new fish, if you remember that. So I released that in here, and I have not seen it since. So, maybe it's burrowed in the gravel somewhere but yeah so the aquarium is coming along this is act this should be the last of the fish that will be adding to this tank so now I'm finally going to add the quarantine meds ICX erythromycin and general cure so you know, that's part of the reason I mean, it is the main reason why I haven't had the, the water all the way filled up. So, I have a 29 gallons. is about 20 gallons in here. So, that way I'll only need to use two of these packets. Yeah, so I'm going to add those. And, and now, you know, just the only thing going forward with this tank probably will be adding... I'm not adding new fish, but... Adding the the pygmy cor the panda corridors, and then any new fish from there will just be any babies growing up. I'm not sure about plants because I was thinking of getting willow high grow, but now I'm not sure if I would have any room if I'm gonna you know now that I have those back there, the the cryptocorn. I think if I'm gonna get another plant maybe it'd be better to just get a more of a another stem plant but more you know something that would grow more like a copa like willow pie grow can be bushy but something that can you know just be kind of straight like that I guess but yeah all right so that's it for now for this what's going on today um, I guess I should mention I am planning on making an announcement, an upcoming announcement. Um, along the way, since I started this channel, getting probably more than a year and a half ago, close to two years, but I have had a few, several people along the way ask if I sell fish, um, if I ship, sell and ship fish. Um, seeing my other community tanks some have mentioned they were interested in some of my live bearers but I haven't sold any fish yet and I still don't really plan on doing that um, I have experimented giving some fish away to test shipping them 